Hi, this is Vaughn Stewart with NetApp, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you the economical impact of running production VMware environments on deduplicated storage. This technology is available on storage arrays from NetApp and the N series from IBM. Data deduplication is an important new technology which allows customers to scale their storage capacity beyond traditional storage limits. This process works by identifying and eliminating the redundant blocks of data stored on the array and making them available for reuse. Let's take a look at dedupe in action by beginning in Virtual Center. As you can see, we have 100 virtual machines, which I believe is best displayed by viewing the data center map. For our demo, we have all 100 of these virtual machines located on a single data store that we have named dedupe. When we move to the Configuration tab, we can look a bit more closely at this data store. As you can see here, the dedupe data store is at 1.2 terabytes in size, and has one terabyte of this capacity consumed by our 100 VMs. We can open the data store browser to take an even deeper look at this data store. As you can see, we have 100 directories, each representing a virtual machine. Note, the contents of each directory holds the files which comprise of our virtual machines, including a 10 gigabyte virtual disk file. It is the 100 10 gigabyte virtual disk which make up the one terabyte of storage consumed in our data store. Looking at this scenario from the view of a storage admin, we can easily see that the storage array has a volume of 1.2 terabytes with 1 terabyte consumed. At this time, we will enable data deduplication on our array. While we wait, let's review a bit about VMware virtual infrastructures. By default, virtual machines are very redundant. This commonality is the direct result of companies having standardized server and application configurations. By moving VMware to NetApp and N-Series arrays from IBM, the array is able to return all of the storage consumed by anything that is installed on more than a single virtual machine. This includes operating systems, applications, patches, and even the free space found in the virtual disks. The dedupe process has completed, so let's take another look at our data store in Virtual Center. As you can see, the storage consume has been reduced from 1 terabyte to 17 gigabytes. Looking again from the view of a storage admin, we can easily see the storage savings provided by dedupe. At this time, we can actually return the storage capacity back to the global pool, making it available to store additional virtual machines. The storage admin is able to do this on the fly by simply reducing the size of our data store from 1.2 terabytes down to 200 gigabytes. When we return to Virtual Center, the storage savings has already been recognized by all of the ESX servers in our cluster. For us to verify this change, we just need to refresh the virtual infrastructure client. And there you have it. We have shrunk our storage footprint reduced our data store, and returned additional storage capacity for future use. Data deduplication is just one of the many technologies offered by NetApp and IBM which enables you to drive down storage costs and go farther with VMware. As you can see from this example, technologies such as dedupe, RAID DP, and snapshot-based backups can have a pervasive effect throughout your virtual infrastructure resulting in storage cost savings. As we begin to close, I'd like to share with you that if you run VMware on another vendor's enterprise class array, then you're in luck. NetApp and the N-Series from IBM can front-end most of these arrays, enabling all the features that we have discussed while maintaining your current capital investment. Think of this solution as a hypervisor for your existing storage array. My name is Vaughn Stewart. If you'd like more information on the technologies demonstrated in this video, please contact your NetApp or IBM sales team or one of our many excellent value-add resellers. And remember, Virtualization changes everything.